How to melt marshmallows. Sometimes, a recipe calls for melted marshmallows, but it does not always tell you how to melt them. This article will show you three different ways to melt marshmallows, and tell you what recipe you can use each method for. Melting marshmallows on a stove top. Assemble a double boiler. Fill the bottom of a large pot with water and set another pot on top. You can also use a heat-resistant bowl instead. Make sure that the bottom of the upper pot or bowl is not touching the water. The double boiler will allow you to melt the marshmallows slowly so that you can use them as a dip or in fondant. wh.performance.mark Step 1 underscore rendered. Grease a rubber spatula and the inside of the upper pot. This will prevent the marshmallows from sticking to the pot and spatula as they melt. Empty a bag of marshmallows into the pot. You will need a 16-ounce bag about 400 grams of marshmallows. You can use large marshmallows or miniature marshmallows, although you may find that the miniature marshmallows melt easier. You can even use colored or flavored marshmallows, but be sure that they are all the same color and flavor. If you use multiple colors all at once, the colors will mix together and make brown. If you use different flavors all at once, the flavors will combine, and the ending result may not be very tasty. wh.shared.adscrolloditem img underscore db 65323b9f Add 2 tablespoons of water to the marshmallows and stir. You will notice that the marshmallows are starting to melt. Consider adding some flavor and color. If you are using white colored marshmallows, you can tint them another color with a few drops of food coloring. If you wish to add flavor to your marshmallows, you can add one teaspoon of vanilla extract or flavoring. Make sure that the flavoring you are using is clear, or your marshmallows will take on the color of the extract, brown. Turn on the stove and set the heat to low. If you use high heat, you will risk scorching the marshmallows. Stir the marshmallows and add some more water. Once the marshmallows begin to melt, add two more tablespoons of water. This is to prevent them from drying out. Make sure that you stir the mixture so that the marshmallows heat evenly. If you find that the marshmallows are starting to stick to your spatula, wipe them off and re grease your spatula. Consider using the marshmallows in a fondant. If you wish to use your melted marshmallows as a fondant, you will need to add some powdered sugar into the mixture. Using a greased spatula, stir the sugar 1 cup 125 grams at a time into the mixture. Once it thickens, place the mixture onto a well-greased surface and knead it. Make sure that your hands are well greased as well, this will prevent the marshmallow mixture from sticking. Once the fondant reaches the desired texture, wrap it and place it in the fridge overnight. The next day, you can roll it out and use it for decorating. 3. wh.shared.adscrolloditem img underscore d2c51a709. The fondant will tear if it is too dry. If this happens, add 1 half teaspoon of water and knead. Keep adding more water, 1 half teaspoon at a time, and kneading until the fondant no longer tears. 4. 